Hi everyone, it is Shamisha here. I am back with another shifting video. Today I just wanted to talk about all the methods I've created and do a video on them all in just one video, that way you guys can see them. Also, I'm so sorry about my voice. I was really sick this New Year's. I'm still pretty sick, but I'm getting better. That for my New Year's resolution this year, I am going to try to post more. Try to keep me through that. <laughs> created all of these methods they all are in their own separate videos on my channel this is just like the master video if you ever like which method of Monique said I like oh let me just check her video this is the video there you go you're welcome it's all here so the first method we're gonna talk about these are in no order by the way I don't think they're in an order there might be some secret order maybe I don't know. First method I'm going to talk about is the flow method. So this method you're just going to visualize yourself at a lake that is like a peaceful color to you. So I said yellow but then people started like being like ha 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 piss lake. So I'm gonna say a pink lake. Um, that could also be piss I guess but we're not gonna think about that. Please probably don't think about that unless like that's relaxing to you and you're like yay piss. Anyways because you're gonna you're <laughs> you're gonna see doorways across this lake and each doorway they can look however you want by the way this is um just your visualization whatever comes easiest to you or whatever fits the setting um all of these doorways will lead to other realities they're all like portals technically and you're going to visualize a boat and get inside of the boat then you're going to row yourself across the lake and start saying affirmations once you are ready get off of the boat and enter your portal. This means like once you've rowed yourself all the way across the lake and you've gone to like the portal with your desired reality because your desired reality is in all of these doorways, you're just gonna get out of the boat and go into the portal and then you're gonna repeat affirmations as you go through and you go to your DR bedroom and you sleep in your DR bed and then you should wake up in your desired reality next method method number two the clock method this one i also just want you to get into like a comfortable position there's no specific position just be comfortable you're going to visualize yourself walking down a hall these are not all visualization methods by the way like i've started with stuff that visualizes i'm getting to the other stuff later i promise you're going to listen for like a dinging noise like you know like ding ding like that you'll see a big pendulum clock bing 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 that's what's making the dinging noise probably not that fast um hopefully not that fast for your sake behind the pendulum is a door but the door is still in the distance like you still gotta walk down this hallway as you walk towards the pendulum you'll start to see like the color and the shape of the door like the door will start to form it'll start to get clearer because you know you're getting closer to it that's how things naturally progress i'm sorry i'm being so sarcastic this is just my sense of humor. I feel like people might think it's mean. I'm not trying to be mean. I'm just sick and I'm trying to make jokes. Oh well, I think it's funny. Hopefully no one thinks it's mean. Once this happens, you're just going to keep walking and you are going to walk past the pendulum, the part that's swinging. You're going to walk through it so you can get to the door. Now you're obviously going to go when it's like swinging. You'll be able to pass through it. Don't stress out about it. Don't get overwhelmed. You're powerful enough. You're literally visualizing it. It cannot hit you. You're fine. You are powerful. At this door, you will enter your DR bedroom. If you want to like look around, sit, you know, enjoy your DR bedroom, go ahead. But eventually you are going to have to go into your bed and sleep. And then once you wake up, you will fully be in your desired reality. Third method is the Shea method. This is the first method I ever created. So it kind of takes me back. <laughs> so I did recommend that you meditate before this. Once again, just get into a comfortable position. I almost named this method the hammock method because you'll see why, but I didn't. I ended up naming it the Shea method. You're gonna visualize yourself swinging in a hammock in your desired reality. You're not gonna visualize like your surroundings just yet. All you need is the hammock and whatever the hammock's attached to. Every time the hammock swings, just say an affirmation. Once you get a shifting symptom, 
visualize your DR world building around you. Just continue this until you fall asleep. Earth method. <sighs> Sorry, I'm sniffling. I just like coughed a lot. You guys didn't see the cough because I cut it out, but I'm kind of dying. It's okay though. We're going to make it through the video. Non-visualization method. <laughs> I do recommend if you have a script to go over your script before this. You don't have to. I also re recommend meditation. Once again, you don't have to. These are just recommendations that I personally do. You don't have to copy me for the actual method itself. And you're gonna see why I say go over your script. Maybe like I recommend it. You're gonna see why I recommend it for this specific method. You are going to count to 100 every five numbers. You are either going to say an affirmation or a piece of your script. This doesn't mean that you have to memorize your script because you don't. Like, if you only remember like a couple things from your script, like, oh, my name is this, I'm gonna be this many years old, I'm going to this school. Like, if you only remember the basics, that's fine. Your subconscious knows the rest. Don't stress out about it. It's it's fine. And that's why there's also affirmations because then you can just say things like, I am shifting, I've shifted many times before, I am a master shifter, I am not attached to any reality, I am more than just my physical body, blah 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 blah. It, you don't have to memorize your script, not a requirement, but that is why I do recommend going over your script beforehand. Fifth method, finally, the last, the last method, I named it the Monique method just after myself because this is the laziest method I've ever heard of and I created it. So I had to give it a really lazy name. I do recommend using a subliminal. Once again, you don't have to, it's optional. This one is a little different because you're gonna count down from 100. I feel like it's just like simpler that way because then when you end at zero, you don't like maybe accidentally keep counting. And between every number, say I am, nothing else. Just I am is very simple. I mean, you could say other affirmations if you wanted to, but I specifically created that for uh, for the besties who feel like they're lying to themselves when they say affirmations so that because i am is technically never going to be a lie because you are like it makes no sense but it does make sense because when you say like i am like i am it just means that like you are which you are you see it makes no sense but it makes perfect sense and it works so i hope this was helpful i hope maybe you guys found a new method that you can try out or something if you guys ever want to talk about shifting my instagram is always open i put that either in the description or my pinned comment if youtube won't let me put a description which has been happening a lot lately so yeah but it's it's down there somewhere as always i hope you guys have a fantastic day or night and drink water